follow us on social networking sites facebook linux arcade is the page linkedin so ravi kumar is the profile name google place you can just enter red art and replies linux step by step guide twitter at the rate ravi kumar 48 website you can visit arcade.co.in hi friends welcome to free online tech videos today we are going to see command alias okay alias command how we are going to use uh, command alias so in this video we are going to see so okay what does mean by the alias command okay so alias command is a name, command which is used for alternate alternate in the sense alias command is used to define an alternate shortcut for actual long command in the sense which you have every time you wanted to type a long command instead of wasting off your time so what you can do is you can simply specify an alias for that and uh, execute that alias so that it would be executed as soon as possible which means that so your command typing is go very fast and very fast okay how you can define that alias okay so aliases are two types so one is a global alias and the one is a local alias okay so global alias is defined and can be used for all the users in that linux machine and local alias is only applicable for the particular user okay in a sense every user they can define their commands as a shortcut case like the just like a shortcut command so that it would be execution would be faster and more faster okay so how it's going to be faster okay let's see that practically okay now just open a command prompt and you can see that so this should type alias iphone p so that it will show your all the alias commands okay what are the commands are aliased it just show here so you can see that there are some aliases already specified if you type the command cp which uh, actually automatically which type cp iphone i okay if you type l dot let's see that this one it will type iphone ls iphone d dot star and color is automatically specified okay let's see that l dot so which is specified but if you type the same command this command okay which also give the same output here okay does it make any sense but if you want to type this command it takes some time but if you type this command it does not take that much time okay so that is the alias command which is going to be helpful for us okay let's say i'm i wanted to scan some hardware changes in this machine so then what i have to do so i have to type a big command which is like this okay so i'm going to that uh, sys folder and be calling that sys um, class of the SCSI host and all the multiple host i'm just calling as just a little bit script this one is a while loop okay i'm i wanted to do this one okay then every time what i have to do so i have to type type like this sys class okay scuzzy underscore host okay then provide this pipe symbol okay all the stuff like this okay i have to type all this command okay this takes lot of time right so instead of that what i'm going to do here it is that i'm just going to uh, open my bash rc file okay to specify my local alias command for that okay i'm just going here and say that alias and i'm putting in a shortcut command name for that is scan d or scan dev something like that okay and equal to what is that command i have to put it here okay the command i'm just put it in the single quotation marks which means that strictly i is passing that command to okay to the command line so now whenever you type scan dev it does not execute because i just did not load it that 
alias eight. Okay, you can also define using this uh, like this alias. Okay, and you can just specify that command name and all the stuff like that. Or you can also add into the uh, <coughs> bash rc file to load that whatever the alias we have just defined. You just type bash source that bash rc file so that the alias will be reloaded and if you type scan dev then it is scanning okay but before that okay okay what i'm doing is that i'm just an alias that uh, scan dev here okay so i'm just removing that uh, alias here again i am typing scan dev <coughs> what it says the command is not found command is not found okay you can just go to that bash rc file and see that the command is still exists here but what happened i just unloaded that alias so that the command cannot execute so if you want to load again what you have to do just source that bash rc file so that command will be loaded and if you type scan dev the command will be executed like this okay you can make a lot of lot many aliases how many you want in the bash rc file for your local things or if you want to make them some suppose say i have another user if i go to that user here and type scan dev it does not execute because that scan dev is configured for <coughs> root user this is for Ravi's user okay now I'm just going to edit a bash rc file here so what I'm going to write here it is that okay I already written this alias here welcome alias okay so but if you see that there is no welcome command in the Linux okay so what I'm doing is that first of all I'm doing an an alias for welcome command okay if I type welcome command so it does not execute any here okay so what i'm doing again i just specified into the bash rc file i'm just uh, executing the bash rc loading that and type welcome and execute welcome to free online tech videos so i'm um, what is that welcome is typing here okay it is typing it is cat it's doing an a cat on some other file which is located somewhere else okay like that you can use this alias commands to specify the commands okay if you wanted to specify a global aliases like you can just go to edit this slash etc <coughs> slash etc slash profile okay so what i'm doing here it is that i'm just going to end up this file and i'm just uh, setting up something here okay what is that is setting here alias okay the command name is ravi okay and thus the command i'm just specifying here it is something like this okay hey, ravi there is an a welcome file okay i'm specifying this and i'm just going to a hey, ravi here and if i type welcome it executes and if i go to here if i type welcome it executes sorry i have to source this one it is just like profile file and execute it welcome command not found what happened okay so actually this loads whenever your profile is loaded okay so that is like you can specify the local variable and you can specify the global variables and local variables okay like if you have a big command you can just make it a short and you can execute faster and faster using this alias commands okay this is just about the alias command how does alias command practically is executed okay thanks for watching stay tuned